it's your boy Nankur in the house back with another bang on video well ladies and gentlemen we are back again after the yesterday's stalemate 1-1 one, one, ladies and gentlemen and we know what happened at Old Trafford we could not break the deadlock the streak continues and I don't know it's the curse or I don't know what's what but still I think we've got some uh, news about it uh, of yesterday's game and post that so let's let's actually post more about it and let's actually go to the news straight away but first if you still haven't subscribed to the channel go subscribe to the channel be a part of this community and hit that bell icon and while hitting the bell icon you can always select an all as an option so that you get all the notifications from this uh, channel and not only that make sure you go and vote for your roast of the week I've already put up three options I guess I guess you guys have uh, till the end of uh, tomorrow to decide who will be roasted this Friday. But let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the first news of the day. Here's an image. 2018-2019 seasons away table. And you can see Arsenal have 37 percentages of win percentage with 20, 25 points collected. And you can always see all the things. It's really tough going away from home and getting points. We are uh, really, really struggling and that, that is that's, this is the reason and this is the moment that made us not uh, qualify for the Champions League uh, and we are playing Europa this season as well so moving on the next news of the day Unai Emery was uh, asked about Ozil's omission yesterday He's, he was not even named on the bench so to which he said not today today I decided that's the first 11 and that's the squad this is authority okay this you can see that Unai Emery is very much certain that Mesut Ozil is not in his plans just how he was certain that Lucas Moura was not in his plans at Paris Saint-Germain it was pretty da da that simple so it's pretty much clear that Mesut Ozil is doesn't come into the plans at all even though he's fit, he's unfit, he's sick, he's not sick nobody gives a damn about it all we know is pretty simple that uh, he's not in the plans of Unai Emery and it doesn't make sense for him uh, to stay uh, at Arsenal anymore. Moving on, the big six Premier League away records, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal have played 23 games, drawn 8, lost 15 and points only 8 collected. And uh, uh, if you consider yesterday's game as well, that is 24 played, 9 drawn, lost 15 and 9, nine points only collected from the 24 games that we played away against the big six. Big reason to worry. Moving on, top 50 Premier League players where value have increased, whose value have actually increased in 2019. We've got some more Arsenal players on that list. Number 4th on that list is Nicola Pepe, ladies and gentlemen. 87.5% rise in his value. His market value right now is 67.5 million pounds. And moving on, Matteo is 14th on that list with 12.5% rise. His current value stands at 40.5 million. Same goes for Danisa Bayos, who's 15th on the list. 12.5% rise with 40.5 million being his value. Moving on, 40th, 20th on that list is William Saliba, whose uh, value have risen to up to 733 percentage. Right now, his value is 22 million pounds. Kieran Tierney, 100% rise. His value currently is 22.5 million pounds. Next on the list is 48th rank, Ainsley Maitland Niles, whose value rose to 157 percentage and the value is right now 16.2 million pounds so i think it's really really great to see that many of us youngsters are on that list moving on check fabregas has spoken about bukayo saka he said this saka is a player 18 years old showing great maturity yes ladies and gentlemen check fabregas knows it well also he's, talk, he's spoken about Matteo Genduzzi as well he said gotta love Matteo Genduzzi can play good or not so good but always shows up in difficult moments at such a young age big future ahead of him at Arsenal truly said Matteo Genduzzi is definitely the future of Arsenal defensive midfield Stuart McFarlane has actually posted an image you know yesterday's game the worst part other than the result was the refereeing I hated the refereeing because they got the offside wrong they made sure that they, there, was a, there was a situation where uh, McTominay was fouled by Arsenal player and that free kick was given to Arsenal and at the moment he took assistance uh, referee's uh, call and after taking an advice he gave he awarded it to Manchester United. It was so pathetic. I did not like the refereeing of yesterday's game. It was so naive and so immature. Like uh, I don't know it was quite amateurish 
the referee was quite a major ish. And here, Stuart McFarlane is actually showing a certain mistakes. And Bukayo Saka was fouled a lot of times. Jesse Lingard, the culprit. And not only that, many uh, Manchester United players already got a yellow straight in the first half itself for being very, very restless. Moving on. Ola Emery has given his verdict on Bukayo Saka. He said, Saka is improving, being mature and playing matches. He's helping us now as an important player. We are going to go with him with calm and patience, but also if he deserves to take minutes to have that, uh, to have that confidence to help us, it's fantastic for us. Well, it's really good to see that Bukayo Saka is getting a nod ahead of Martinelli, uh, Willock and definitely Nelson. But Saka, you know, he offers something different from that left side. And I think th that's not something that I would expect uh, Miki Tarin to do. But Saka is unbelievable. I, if, you, if you don't believe me, I think many of them do. But he showed a great amount of patience and a great amount of maturity in that assist to Aubameyang. I just love him. His touches are sublime. Much better than Nikola Pepe. For now. Well, moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I have to address this. Many Arsenal fans are actually rewinding and seeing and they are suggesting that Scott during Scott McTominay's goal, Shaka actually ducked the shot. I don't think so that happened. And uh, do you think he's a coward? I don't think so he's a coward. Do you think that he was pathetic in doing that? I think you're not judging it well or you're jumping the gun. I don't understand... Uh, these type of Arsenal fans suddenly developing, suddenly uh, making sure that Granit Xhaka has been pulled down, even though he had an he had a decent decent game yesterday. But if you're trying to get behind on Granit Xhaka, trying to mock whatever he's done, whatever he's doing, and trying to question whatever he's done till now, I think you guys need to have a good life. You guys need to have to find something interesting in your life because certainly your opinions suck and I really don't understand why you guys are behind I think you guys have to be backing Shaka oh, no 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 he is an Arsenal player currently he plays he's the captain of Arsenal and you go out, guys have to respect that okay if he's making any mistake go for it but if you keep on you know it, it looks like a propaganda it looks like at the end of the day you all guys want Emery to be sacked since when did Arsenal fans become Chelsea fans I don't know if these Arsenal fans are actually sleeping with certain Chelsea, Chelsea fans or whatever and that's the that's reason why they are raising certain voices. I am sorry, you guys are converted maybe. There's some, some amount of plasticity is getting inside your brains as well. So stop, stop making sure, uh, stop sleeping with Chelsea fans. Or even if you do, do it but don't imbibe that shit culture of Chelsea to Arsenal. No, 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 we, 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 we need to have patience. Okay? We are seeking something really really huge and it requires patience and I really don't want you guys to be toxic towards a player. Moving on, well ladies and gentlemen I've addressed it, let's, let's actually talk about how Bukayo Saka actually uh, spoke about the game. He said, hard earned point tonight, happy to contribute with an assist, thank you for your support, Arsenal. Humble, isn't the boy humble? Great to see him on the pitch, whenever he's on the pitch I really really feel that uh, you know that left away left uh, flank is definitely in good hands good feet moving on Aubameyang had this to say we came to uh, win but we drew we still have work to do and above all positive that's one point well it's really great to see that Aubameyang has to post that and uh, you can see the image you can see how exactly things panned out and it's really great to see Aubameyang I don't know if this guy would have been uh, for th two, three more seasons at Arsenal. There are many records uh, that that would have been tumbled. I would really love to see that, isn't it? Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, Unai Emery has spoken, has actually spoken about uh, Shaka. He said he worked with a big commitment. Truly said, I think he performed really well yesterday, Granit Shaka. Whatever asked from him, I think he performed that. Moving on, P. A. Emery Kobamiang. There's a stat coming for you. P.M. Aubameyang has now either scored or assisted in every game he has featured in for Arsenal so far this season. 8 goals, 1 assist in 8 games that he's played for Arsenal across all competitions. And ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the best season of Aubameyang against Arsenal. And I, I really love him, whatever he's doing. And let's move on. Let's move on actually about it. Let's actually talk about what David Luiz had to say about yesterday's game. He said, there is still a long way to go. 
we are trying to improve the team every week well, it was quite uh, mixed feelings from all the way around uh, see the tweets from uh, David Seaman he said in one of the tweets he was saying COYG and in next one he said I can't remember a game between Manchester United versus Arsenal that meant so little towards the Premier League title like the one tonight I think there's a whole scenario change I think the, the, the legends have fallen the big wigs have fallen once everyone was fighting for the title and now we know we talk about City and Liverpool like that so and no other team probably Tottenham have, have bottled their respect so I don't I don't want to say much about Tottenham as well but you know the Premier League contenders are two and the others are just trying to get Champions League football and trying to salvage some amount of their wage bill and a lot amount of respect uh, in their fans eyes moving on Kieran Tierney and Scotland really the, the, this is some some sort of controversy that I have to address Scotland have announced their squad you can see the image you cannot see a name called Kieran Tierney in that and that is good news because there were rumors and there were uh, everything in the news media that state stated that Kieran Tierney has got uh, uh, the, his injury has recur recurrent his injury has come back again to haunt him and that's the biggest reason why he has not been selected for Scotland and he won't make it to the further games for Arsenal but well Kieran Tierney has been available has been made available for Arsenal's game against Standard Liege in the Europa League competition coming this Friday and this is really great to see that Kieran Tierney won't play for Scotland but for Arsenal and that is the way going forwards yes he's come up with a double hernia he's come out of it he looked really good against Nottingham Forest and it looks quite positive to start uh, for a uh, Europa League competition for Arsenal. So I think uh, this is same what Nicola Pepe happened, uh, what happened with Nicola Pepe in the uh, last international break. You know, uh, Pepe did not uh, choose to play for Ivory Coast. He wanted to work on his fitness. He wanted to work for, uh, uh, for his team integration more. Similarly, a similar stance has taken, uh, Kieran Demi has taken. So I think yes, it is something really positive. And no, if anyone tells you that Kieran Demi is not fit, again he's got injured, don't listen to them, that's fake news and make sure to watch the video till the end so that you guys can make your opinion as well so this was the news of the day i hope you enjoyed it i hope whatever came your way gave you gave uh, a lot of information about arsenal so if you still haven't subscribed go subscribe to the channel and vote for your host of the week it's already there in the community fair. it's already there in the community tab it's already there in the community tab. Go and vote for your rose of the week. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.